hello hello everyone make a love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel and if you are new to my channel please <laughs> like share don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification three <clears throat> like leave a comment subscribe Four. Subscribe. All right. Okay. Our lesson for today is how to determine whether an ordered pair is a solution of the system of linear inequalities. And this is to your teacher, Mari Fedonis, and this is for Grade Eight Mathematics, second quarter. Okay, so we have here uh, a determine, no? So we need to determine, uh, determine whether the ordered pair is a solution of the given system of linear inequality. So we have here two givens, okay? So we have two system here. We have a, uh, inequality one, x plus two, y is greater than 11. And the inequality two, we have y is uh, less than or equal to 2x minus 7. So, let's get the solution first. Okay. So, for letter A, uh, we need to... Uh, we have the uh, x is 6 and the y is... Okay, so these are the second numbers, of course, the y. So, for letter A, we have x plus 2y... Uh, is greater than 11, so we got 6 plus 2 times 4 greater than 11, so we have 6 plus 8, so 6 plus 8, okay, greater than 11, so we got 14, so 14 is greater than 11. Okay. Next, so for the second number, as so a letter B, we have uh, y is uh, less than or equal to 2x minus 7. So, of course, uh, for we have here uh, our x is equals to 5, and and y is 3 so 3 is greater than uh, less than or equal to 2 times 5 minus 7 so we get 3 uh, less than or equal to 10 minus 7 so we have 3 is greater than or equal to 3 so there, the first solution so this is true okay this is a solution and of course um, for letter B also is is true okay so true now we can have uh, use we can use a uh, both for a so for example you use only both a and both B so this time we can uh, no, we can we can use the man for both uh, equation uh, it's up to you no uh, you can ha you can have this actually in both okay next let's have another okay in here uh, we have the ordered pair which is um, four uh, two and four no. 
So we have here A. For A, we have 2 and 4. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, let us use first two, uh, two and four for both equation. Okay, so we have uh, x plus three y uh, greater than or equal to eleven. So we got two plus three times four. Uh, greater than or equal to 11. So, we have 2 plus 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, so 11. So, this is 14 greater than or equal to 11. So, the, this one is true. Okay, it is true. Next, let's use the, the same ordered pair to the second uh, the second inequality. So this is your first and this is your second. Okay, so we got 3x minus y is less than 3. So 3 times 2 minus 4 less than 3. So we get 6 minus 4 less than 3. Therefore, okay, oh wait, we need to erase. So we have less than, we have 2 less than 3. So this is also true. This is also a true solution for the second okay so let us use this one no let's determine another um ordered pair so using the the, the same you know, from the previous slide so we will use the same uh equation or inequality so we have for first uh inequality we have x plus 3y uh, greater than or equal to 11. So we got 1 plus 3 times negative 4. So greater than or equal to 11. So 1 minus 12. Greater than. So this will be 12. No, greater than or equal to 11. Therefore, negative 11 is greater than or equal to 11. So, this solution um, is false. Okay? This is false. Why? Because uh, it's never, a negative is never greater than or equal to a positive number. Okay, let's try the second, the second equation. So, 3x minus y less than 3. So, 3 times 1 minus negative 4 less than 3. Okay. So, we have 3 plus 4 because negative times negative is positive. So, okay. So, we got 7 less than 3. This is also false. 7 is greater than 3, not less than Okay, so that means uh, this is the two given pa uh, ordered pair is not the solution for um, both the system. No, we have x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 11 and 3x minus y um, less than 3. So, this is not as a solution for the given inequality. Okay, next. All right, so we have here another. Uh, we have the first inequality and we have the second inequality. Okay, so we will both uh, first use A and both inequalities. So we have uh, X plus Y uh, is less than 5. So we have 3 plus 2 less than 5. Okay. So, 5 is less than 5. Okay, what do you think? Is is it true or false? 
they are equal actually you know so we can say that this is false okay next what about the second equation okay for the second equation we have x plus 2y uh, less than negative 3 okay so we have 2 plus 2 times negative 3 less than negative 3 so we get 2 minus 6 less than negative 3 therefore negative 4 because we, we subtract so negative 4 is less than negative 3 so this is true okay it's true for the second equation now let's have the second um, number so for both uh, equation 1 and equation 2 we will use this ordered pair that which is 2 and negative 3 okay so we have x plus y less than 5 so we got um, 2 plus negative 3 less than 5 so we got uh, 2 minus 3 less than 5 therefore negative 1 is less than 5 and this is true okay so it's true that means it's the solution what about the second inequality no so let's see if it's also the solution no it's the given ordered pair is also the solution so we have 2 plus 2 times negative 3 less than negative 3 so we got 2 2 times negative 5 is negative 10 okay so negative 3 so we got negative 8 is less than negative 3 so this is also true okay so that is how we determine uh, whether the ordered pair is a solution of the given system of inequality okay so i hope you learned from our lesson for today for questions and clarifications please leave your comment at the comment section remember gratitude is the best attitude bye bye everyone see you all love you